Welcome back to another episode of Smashing That Bass. I just want to say something before we start painting this bait. I want to remind everyone I'm doing a 300 subscriber giveaway. All 300 subscribers are entered. So once I reach 300 subscribers, I'm giving it away a Fenwick World Class Casting Rod, 7 foot 6, medium heavy. Also a Daiwa Fuego Casting Reel that I have used one time. Don't like the placement of the buttons. So that is the giveaway for 300 subscribers. Stay tuned till the end of the video because I will also be doing another giveaway. All right, everyone. In the past, I've painted foil baits similar to this one from uh, other companies. Here, I put my own foil on my bait. Here's the foil here. Uh, if you guys want me to do a video on how I put it on and where I got the foil from, I can do that. Just let me know. Let's go ahead and get started. All right, so here we go. I didn't want to bore you guys with the white. Uh, this is just an opaque white. Um, I'm going to do some translucent black. See if I can get that white to still kind of kind of show through some on the top here. Get better off just keeping it solid. My first time trying to do this uh, holographic style bait like this. Uh, I've done some in the past from companies, but trying to get rid of those real fine lines on the top of the bait, trying to make it not quite as noticeable, even though I don't think it's going to make that much of a difference. This is for my personal use. All right, so I typically don't have a color in mind when I start to paint a bait. Sometimes I do, it depends on if I'm trying to, you know, match something somewhat or not. But that's what's awesome about airbrushing your own baits, is you can play around with the colors, you know, create stuff that, that you may want that you haven't seen in stores, or, you know, just, just try new colors and, you know, see what they like. So, on this one, like I do most of my baits, I'm just trying something a little different. Um, we got this Wicked Aluminum, pretty much like a, just kind of like a, like a silver glitter. That I'm gonna throw across the top here, you know. We got that that flash here on the side, which kind of gives off kind of like a blue kill type imitation. But um, we're just gonna go with it and paint and see what we can come up with. Let's roll. Not gonna go real, real heavy on it. Try not to, anyways. Just, just enough to give us some flash in the water. I like a little flash on my baits most of the time. Alright, I'm going to do a, a dark brown, transparent, thinned out to make it a little lighter. Try to keep the colors more natural on this bait and kind of see what it'll catch there in that stream for smallmouth. we can do to this side. Alright, I've decided to keep this uh, translucent brown in and just do a light dusting on the sides. Um, Alright, the next color I'm going to use, uh, Green Texas Calling Sand. Let's see what it looks like. It's a transparent.
I'm going to try to kind of roll this around this edge. See how it works out. Hopefully I don't mess up the feet. Black around the eyes. <laughs> well, I think I'm doing a little bit of opaque, opaque white here on the gill plate. Just a little bit. I'm not going to cover the whole thing. Tail too, screw it. Play around with it, see what see what we can get the bite on it here in the next month or so. Alright everyone, I'm gonna show you what this foil looks like out here in the sun because um, you get a lot more shine in the sun than you do under that LED light down there in my basement. So this is the bait here. You can see that you can see that shine there, look at that. So that's what's really cool about about this foil is you can put some paint and give a lot of shine you can put a little paint give a little shine put no paint and you'll have all shine through the foil uh, if you just clear coat it um, I think it turned out pretty well I'm really excited to see how this does um, in the creeks around me, there's the top, got that glitter there, I'm really excited. Once again, thank you to all my new subscribers that have just recently subscribed. Uh, I do appreciate it, appreciate the support, keeps me going, and I appreciate everyone um, that has subscribed in the past and is leaving comments down in the comments section. I really do appreciate that. I'm glad I can share my experience with you guys on either me painting a bait or doing a little fishing. I uh, really do enjoy doing this. Not looking to blow up or anything. Just looking to share my experience. And, you know, if you, if you enjoy the content I put out, hit that subscribe button. I put out a video once a week. All right, so the second giveaway that I'm going to do after I reach 300 subs um, is going to be one of my baits. I will allow you to pick the color and the pattern. I will do my best to make you happy, even though it's free. Um, I've only been doing this about three months, painting these baits. Um, so that's something I'm going to have coming up after I get to 300 subs. There'll be more details later. Also, the baits you guys saw in the beginning, I also painted this weekend. I did not film. I just kind of wanted to focus on those patterns. If you guys do want to see me paint one of those uh, just let me know. They're really for uh, the creek fishing that I do for smallmouth. I've had good luck with uh, bright colors. So I'm really interested to see how that works out um, this summer. All right, so we have an update on me looking for a fishing kayak. I have finally chosen one. Let me tell you what, it's a hard decision. There's so many out there. Um, it, it just... I went back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, taking stuff off my list, putting it on my list, taking it off, putting it back on. It's just crazy um, how many there are out there. But I finally found one. I went with the U Canoe Unlimited. I pre-ordered it about two weeks ago. I'm waiting on it to show up. I cannot wait. I cannot wait. This is going to be awesome. I got the Spot Lock trolling motor from Motor Guide, the XI3. Um, I think that's really gonna play a big part in bass fishing out of kayaks. 
It's going to keep you right on your spot, rather it be lay downs or grass edges or whatever. Um, that's just one thing I cannot wait for. Uh, that's the one thing I did not like about my sitting kayak was you constantly had to paddle in the wind and get yourself back to your position. I just did not care for it. Um, so I cannot wait for that to come in and make videos for you guys out of it. It is going to be awesome.